हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ हाइड्रोजन पर आई हैव डिस्कस लास्ट क्लास प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पर हाइड्रोजन पर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ हाइड्रोजन पर इन द प्योर स्टेट पर ऑक्साइड इज एन इज एन एलमोस्ट कलरलेस एलमोस्ट कलरलेस मीन्स वेरी पेल ब्लू वेरी पेल ब्लू लिक्विड इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज आर जस्ट इट्स मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इज टू सेवेंटी टू मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इज इन कैलविन टू सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर बॉइलिंग पॉइंट दैट इज ए फोर ट्वेंटी थ्री कैलविन भैपर प्रेशर एट टू नाइन्टी एट कैलविन दैट इज ए वन पॉइंट नाइन डेंसिटी डेंसिटी एट टू सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फाइव कैलविन दैट इज ए वन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर ग्राम पर सी सी डेंसिटी actually what i told you density is solid at 268.5 kelvin gram per cc that is equal to 1.64 density liquid at 298 kelvin that is in a, this is a, in kilo joule that is 1.44 gram per cc okay A density liquid at two ninety eight Kelvin, and that is one point four four gram per cc, and at solid density of peroxide in solid state it is two sixty eight point five Kelvin gram per cc, that is one point six four, and a liquid that is at two ninety eight Kelvin, one point four four. ग्राम पर सी सी स्लाइटली लेस देन सॉलिड बिस्को सिटी इंसेंटिव पॉइस एट टू नाइन्टी कैलविन वन पॉइंट टू फाइव डाय एलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू एट टू नाइन्टी एट कैलविन दैट इज सेवेंटी पॉइंट सेवन एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी एट टू नाइन्टी एट कैलविन That is a five point one into ten to the power minus minus eight Simon per minute per centimeter. This is the uh, physical properties of hydrogen peroxide. And uh, also, we should know more about the peroxide. H two O two is miscible with water in all proportion. and forms a hydrate peroxide h2o2 one h2o is adsorbed peroxide h2o2 one mono you can say molecule one h2o is it has absorbed that is a, you can say peroxide it is dissolved in all proportion in water and forms a hydrate एस टू ओ टू वन एस टू ओ मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इज ए टू ट्वेंटी वन कैलविन एट थर्टी परसेंट सोल्यूशन ऑफ पर ऑक्साइड ए थर्टी परसेंट सोल्यूशन ऑफ पर ऑक्साइड इज मार्केटेड एज हंड्रेड वॉल्यूम हाइड्रोजन पर ऑक्साइड दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ए थर्टी परसेंट सोल्यूशन ऑफ पर ऑक्साइड इज मार्केटेड एज Hundred volume hydrogen peroxide. It means that one milliliter, one mL, one milliliter of thirty percent peroxide solution will give hundred volume of oxygen at STP. One milliliter of thirty percent peroxide solution will give hundred volume of oxygen 
at STP. Commercially, it is marketed as 10B, which means it contains 3% peroxide. Here, one question is asked. Calculate the strength of 10 volume solution of hydrogen peroxide. This problem is asked in examination. Calculate the strength strength of 10 volume solution, 10 volume solution of hydrogen peroxide. How will you calculate? Now I am telling you. 10 volume solution of hydrogen peroxide means that that 1 liter of this peroxide will give 10 liter of oxygen at STP. Here you have to understood 10 volume solution of peroxide, hydrogen peroxide means 1 liter of H2O2 will give 10 liter of oxygen at STP. Reaction you can simply you can write 2H2O2 that is a liquid form. It gives oxygen plus water. Oxygen plus water. O2 plus H2O. Then now 2H2O2. 2H2O2 means 30. 50, not 30, 2H2O2 means 1H2O2 means 34 gram. Then 2H2, 2H2O2 means 2 into 34, 68 gram. Then this is giving O2 gas. O2 gas means 22.4 liter at STP. Means 68 gram of peroxide will give 22.4 liter oxygen at STP. Then very easy calculation is there. 22.4 liter, 22.4 liter of O2 at STP is produced from 68 gram peroxide. From 68 gram peroxide. Then 1 liter from 58 divided by 22.4 then 10 liter from the 10 liter how much into 10 means 58 uh, 68 into 10 divided by 22.4 correct 22.4 liter oxygen at STP is, pro is produced from 68 gram peroxide then 1 liter how much from how much 68 divided by 22.4 then 10 liter then into 10 that is it will come after the solution it will come 30.36 gram 30.36 gram therefore a strength of peroxide in 10 volume of H2O2 is 30.36 36 gram per liter. Very easy to calculate. Yeah. Well, you have to understand the question that uh, 10 volume, 10 volume means 10 volume of uh, 10 volume solution of peroxide means that 1 liter of peroxide will give 10 liter oxygen. 1 liter peroxide is a liquid. 1 liter Peroxide will give 10 liter of oxygen. Correct? Means 2H2O2, it is giving O2 plus H2O. Means 2 into 34, 68 gram. Peroxide, that is a liquid, it gives 22.4 liter oxygen at STP. Then 1 liter of H2O2 will give 22.4. Uh, no, 22.4 liter you are getting oxygen from 68 gram from 68 gram peroxide. It means 22.4 liter you are getting from 68 gram peroxide. Then 1 liter 
68 divided by 22.4 liter then 10 liter into 10 then 30.36 gram therefore a strength of peroxide in 10 volume in 10 volume H2O2 is equal to 30.36 gram per liter this is the strength now I am telling you that uh, uh, distance uh, another properties and here you should know that it is marketed as 10 volume 10 volume which means it contains 3 percent peroxide question is asked okay now I am going to tell you can say a structure of peroxide hydrogen peroxide has a non planar structure the molecule the molecular dimension in the gas phase and solid phase okay uh, it generally it is given in both phase solid phase and in and in uh, gas phase then here peroxide structure in gas phase dihedral angles dihedral angles is 11.5 degree that is dihedral dihedral angle h2o2 is there then here h2o2 it's a dihedral angle is 111.5 degree and h2o2 structure in solid fluid is 110 kelvin this H2O2 structure in solid phase at 110 Kelvin dihedral angle is 92.2 it is less than it is less than uh, gas phase in gas phase angle is more 111.5 degree uh, in gas phase and in solid phase it is less 90.2 degree okay now chemical properties i am telling you chemical properties it acts it acts as an oxidizing as well as reducing agent this is very very important it acts both as 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 oxidizing agent as well as reducing agent it has both character just like h2o2 amphoteric it function as a acid as a base like that way peroxide it function as an oxidizing as well as reducing agent and uh, it's a example i'm telling you in oxidizing oxidizing action in acidic medium here here you should understand uh, oxidizing action in acidic medium reducing action in acidic medium means in acidic medium both will be done in acidic medium it can function as oxidizing agent as well as reducing agent and and uh, this things oxidizing action oxidizing action in basic medium oxidizing as a uh, oxidizing action in in a uh, uh, this thing oxidizing action in basic medium and reducing action in basic medium means here oxidizing can be done in both medium oxidizing can be done in both medium Oxid ox oxidizing uh, action in acidic and uh, oxidizing action in basic medium Okay, in both medium oxidizing action can be done it function as oxidizing agent in acidic as well as in basic medium similarly reduction action can be done in both medium means in acidic medium as well as basic medium then now understand one by one oxidizing action in acidic medium then acidic medium means H plus H plus then 2 Fe 2 plus 2 Fe 2 plus plus 2 H 
प्लस टू एच प्लस इट गिव्स इन प्रजेंस ऑफ पार ऑक्साइड टू एफ ई टू प्लस प्लस टू एच प्लस प्लस एच टू ओ टू इट इज गिविंग टू एफ ई थ्री प्लस प्लस टू एच टू ओ टू एच टू ओ देन हेयर यू कैन सी टू एफ ई टू प्लस कन्वर्टेड इन टू टू एफ ई थ्री प्लस मीन्स ऑक्सीडेशन ऑक्सीडेशन मीन्स लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन देन इट हैपन ड्यू टू पर ऑक्साइड पर ऑक्साइड इट हैज टेकन दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड पर ऑक्साइड कन्वर्टेड इन टू एच टू ओ एच टू ओ हेन्स बैलेंस इक्वेशन इज टू एफ ई प्लस टू एच प्लस एच टू ओ टू इट गिव्स टू एफ ई थ्री प्लस प्लस टू एच टू ओ लिक्विड एन अदर एग्जाम्पल लेड सल्फाइड पी बी एस पी बी एस प्लस फोर एच टू ओ टू पी बी एस प्लस फोर एच टू ओ टू इट गिव्स पी बी एस ओ फोर मीन्स लेड सल्फेट सॉलिड प्लस फोर एच टू ओ दैट इज लिक्विड ओके दिस टू एग्जाम्पल आई हैव टोल्ड यू वेयर ऑक्सीडेशन वॉज गोइंग ऑन एंड हेयर पर ऑक्साइड फंक्शन एज ए ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट लेड सल्फाइड ऑल्सो हेयर पी बी एस इन पी बी एस इट वॉज प्लस टू एंड दिस पी बी एस पी बी एस प्लस फोर एस टू ओ टू ओके देन हेयर दिस पी बी एस कन्वर्टेड टू डू पी वी एस ओ फोर पी वी एस ओ फोर इट एब्जॉर्ब ऑक्सीजन इट एब्जॉर्ब ऑक्सीजन दैट वाइट इज ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोसेस एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम द पी वी एस पी वी एस एक्चुअली हेयर पी वी पी वी एस पी वी इज प्लस टू एस इज माइनस टू एस इज माइनस टू बट इन नाउ इन पी बी एस ओ फोर पी वी एस ओ फोर पी वी इज प्लस टू ऑक्सीजन इज माइनस एट ऑक्सीजन इज माइनस एट एंड पी वी इज प्लस टू देन एस विल बी प्लस सिक्स माइनस एट प्लस टू दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन एस इज इक्वल टू माइनस प्लस एट माइनस टू दैट इज द सिक्स देन हेयर ऑक्सीडेशन took place okay <coughs> oxidation took place and uh, peroxide behaved as a oxidizing agent then now you have seen oxidizing action now see reducing action reducing action in acidic medium then now here uh, mno4 1 minus kmno4 actually now k have removed uh, MnO4 1 minus plus 6H 6H because reaction is going on in acidic medium plus 5H2O2 I am t- telling about balanced equation 2 MnO4 1 minus plus 6H 6H plus plus 5H2O2 it is giving 2 Mn2 plus plus H8H2O two Plus five O two means oxygen. It is reducing. Then here you can see two M N O four. The M N oxidation number is how much? Plus seven. Why? Because oxygen M N O four one minus then two four into two minus eight minus eight that is equal to minus one. M N plus minus eight that is equal to minus one. It means M N is equal to Plus seven, and uh, here it has given two m n two plus. Then obviously now m n plus seven, m n plus seven now became m n two plus. Then five electron it has taken. Magnesium has taken five electron. Plus seven became plus two. Then this is the reduction, reduction and peroxide is behaving as a Uh, this thing, uh, this uh, as a reducing agent, as a reducing agent. Then, for the reducing agent, who is responsible? Peroxide is responsible. Okay, that's why reducing is reducing 
as a per per oxide is behaving as reducing agent then balanced equation is 2 mno4 minus plus 6h plus plus 5h2o2 it is giving 2 mn2 plus plus h2o plus 5o2 another example i am telling you hocl hocl plus h2o2 it is giving h3o plus plus cl minus plus o2 in this both reaction oxygen is uh, you are getting then hocl plus h2o2 it is giving it is giving h3o plus plus cl minus plus o2 here also uh, this peroxide is behaving as reducing agent now you can see oxidizing agent as a uh, oxidizing agent in basic medium now you have seen re reducing agent you have seen a uh, reducing action you have seen redu reducing action in acidic medium now i am telling you oxidizing action in basic medium oxidizing action in basic medium okay now i am going to tell two reaction two type of reaction oxidizing action in basic medium and uh, reducing action in basic medium i told you both oxidizing action also oxidizing action will take place in a basic medium and uh, and uh, reducing action also this uh, already i told you oxidizing action in acidic medium already i told you and reducing action in acidic medium oxidizing and reducing action both takes place in acidic medium now i am telling you oxidizing action and reducing action in basic medium both in basic medium then now 2 fe2 plus plus h2o2 it is giving 2 fe3 plus plus 2 oh minus then here 2 fe2 plus now it converting 2 fe3 plus then oxidation is going on then for the oxidation who is responsible h2o2 is responsible okay then here it is functioning as a oxidizing agent and here as a product you are getting 2 oh minus means 2 fe2 plus plus h2o2 it is giving 2 fe3 plus plus 2 oh minus that's why it is called basic medium and another example mn2 plus mn2 plus plus h2o2 it is giving mn4 plus plus 2 oh minus then mn mn2 plus is now converting into mn4 plus means again it has lost two electron oxidation and for the this oxidation who is responsible peroxide that's why it is oxidizing agent okay then here also you can say in both reaction hydrogen peroxide is functioning as oxidizing agent okay now uh, reducing action in basic medium in basic medium first uh, i told you oxidizing action in basic medium now i am telling you re reducing action in basic medium keep in mind uh, in oxid that uh, uh, oxidus oxidation and reduction means oxidizing action and reducing action both takes place in acidic medium and and this uh, uh, reducing action also takes place in both medium then now i am telling you reducing action in basic medium okay then here reducing action in basic medium then i2 plus peroxide 
I2 plus H2O2 plus 2OH. 2OH that is the basic medium. Okay. It gives up I2 is converting into 2I1 minus. Then I2 was having 0 oxidation state. Now having minus 1. It means it got one electron. It got one electron. Then who lost one electron? Then peroxide. Then peroxide is behaving as a reducing agent. Means reducing action. Then I2 plus H2O2 plus 2OH. It gives 2I1 minus plus 2H2O plus O2. Here also oxygen gas is released. Oxygen gas is whenever it is functioning as a reducing action, it is releasing gas or you are getting a O2 gas. Always when it will reduce, reducing, 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 reducing action, you will get oxygen gas as a product, one main product. Okay. Then reducing action, you have seen in a, in a, first I discussed reducing action in acidic medium. There also it has given oxygen, oxygen, and here also you are seeing reducing action. Here also you are getting oxygen. Only difference is that here reducing action is in basic medium, and there oxidizing action was uh, this reducing action was in acidic medium then reducing action in acidic medium you have got oxygen as one product and uh, here also reducing action in basic medium you are getting you can say oxygen oxygen this is important things in examination question asked whenever H2O2 will function as a reducing action there it will give oxygen okay this is the important thing sir now another example i am telling you mno4 one minus plus peroxide okay mno4 plus peroxide means 3 h2o2 2 mno4 one minus plus 3 h2o2 it gives a 2 MnO2 1 minus plus 3 O2 plus 2 H2O plus 2 OH. Here you are getting 4 products. 2 MnO4 1 minus plus 2 H2O2. You are getting 4 products. First, 2 MnO2 1 minus. Other, 3 O2 oxygen gas plus 2 H2O. And fourth one is 2OH minus. This is the balanced equation. Again, I am telling you 2MnO4 1 minus plus 3H2O2. It is giving first product 2MnO2 2MnO2 1 minus. Second product oxygen gas means 3O2 plus 2H2O plus 2OH minus. Here you have seen that MnO4 was in, in MnO4. Mn was a plus 7 state. Now it became plus 2. In 2 MnO2, in 2 MnO2, it is a 2 MnO2, it is a plus 4 state. And in this MnO4, 1 minus plus 7 state. Plus 7 state become plus 4 means it got the electron. And who have given the electron? Then peroxide. Hence peroxide here is functioning as reducing agent then this i have told you about the chemical properties of hydrogen peroxide now another important thing is there where you will store a storage where you will store the peroxide h2o2 decomposes slowly on exp on exposure to light okay this is again you keep in mind eh? peroxide will decompose when it will come in the in presence of light okay peroxide decomposes slowly on exposure to light to h2o2 that is a liquid after exposure with light 
it will it will convert to two H two O plus O two. It will give oxygen. Generally, peroxide will give oxygen. In the presence of in the presence of metal surface, in the presence of metal surface or trace of alkali present in glass containers. Actually, when glass is made in glass, alkali will be there. Then, if a glass material can you are cut keeping peroxide in glass container, then glass container sodium will be there because glass. in glass you can say in glass uh, this alkali will be present sodium will be present in glass that's why h2o2 will react with glass that's why you can't keep can't store it in the glass okay then here uh, how will you keep here glass here actually uh, this thing sir This reaction, ah, uh, peroxide, peroxide, ah, uh, will it will be this is a catalyzed reaction, ah, uh, is catalyzed. Okay, okay, reaction is catalyzed in the presence of alkali, in the presence of metal surface, metal surface, or trace of alkali, alkali present in the glass containers. That uh, this uh, decomposition uh, decomposes slowly. I told you on exposure to light. Then this reaction will be catalyzed in the presence of metal surface or alkali. That's why you can't store it uh, in the glass container or metal container. It is therefore stored in wax-lined glass. It is stored in wax lined glass or plastic vessel in dark you have to keep in dark because you know that in light <coughs> in light it will decompose that's why it is stored in wax liquid glass a wax lined glass or plastic vessels okay urea can be added as a Stabilizer, urea. If we want to stop decomposition, then urea can be added as a stabilizer. It will not allow to decompose peroxide. It is kept away from dust because dust can induce explosive decomposition of the compound. Hence, it must be far from dust. Okay, because dust can induce explosive decomposition of the compound, means peroxide. This I have discussed about the uh, distance peroxide, and uh, it's huge, huge. What is it used? Where it is used? Now, now understand its use application. Its wide scale use has led to tremendous increase in the industrial production of peroxide then some of the uses i am telling you first in a daily life in daily life it is used as a hair bleach hair bleach actually and hair dyeing na people will put the color on the hair then it is used in daily life it is used as a hair bleach and as a mild disinfectant disinfectant as an antiseptic it is also used as an antiseptic it is a, as an antiseptic it is sold in the market as perhydrol perhydrol that is the peroxide and it is used as a an antiseptic as an antiseptic it is a, it is sold in the market as per hydrol now i am telling you second use it is used to manufacture chemicals like sodium perborate and per carbonate which are used 
in high quality detergent in detergent also it is used okay it is used to manufacture chemicals like sodium sodium borate sodium borate and percarbonate okay which are used as a high quality detergent third use it is a used in the synthesis of synthesis of hydroquinone it is used in the synthesis of hydroquinone tartaric acid and certain food products okay this is used in the synthesis of hydroquinone tartaric acid and certain food products okay and uh, pharmaceuticals in that it it's used in this way also i told you it is used in the synthesis of hydroquinone and also in synthesis of tartaric acid and also in synthesis of certain can say food production food some products are produced in the presence of peroxide and uh, pharmaceuticals also uh, that is the cefa loss 14 this is cefa loss 14 cefa loss 14 uh, that is the pharmaceuticals here it is used okay it is used in cefa loss 14 now next use i am telling you it is employed in the industries as a bleaching agent for textiles different colored cloths are coming na there it is used it is employed in the industries that is the uh, this thing textile in textile industries it is used as a bleaching agent for textile for paper paper pulp leather oils fats it is it is see it is uh, employed in the industries as a bleaching agent for textiles paper pulp leather oils fats it is now one more application i am telling you nowadays it is also used in environmental chemistry that is the green chemistry also called green chemistry for example in the in the pollution control treatment of domestic and industrial effluents oxidation of cyanides re-restoration restoration of aerobic conditions to sewage wastage etc again i am telling you it is used nowadays it is used as a environmental chemistry that is green chemistry for example in pollution control treatment of domestic and industrial effluent and uh, oxidation of cyanides cyanides are very dangerous uh, de- poisonous oxidation of cyanides re-restoration re-restoration of aerobic condition to sewage wastage okay in sewage wastage oxygen is required then here it is used as a uh, re-restoration of aerobic condition there also it is used then now uh, i have told about the storage of peroxide okay and uh, today i am stopping only here now again i will continue uh, in next class okay thank you